Hi, I'm Rich Collins. And I'm Claire Braun. We are both writing instructors for the Oregon State University School of Writing, Literature, and Film. And today we're going to talk about technical writing and what defines this type of communication. Technical writing refers to the communication that keeps an end user in mind. The end user is often what we use when referring to a reader of technical writing materials. Technical writing conveys information to the end user on how to complete a task, interact with an object, integrate a new procedure, or something similar. Examples of technical writing include instruction manuals, technical descriptions, or even memos, which we'll look at for our first assignment. Uh, so would a list above a copier that has a few steps detailing how to change the toner uh, be included in this kind of writing? Sure. Uh, what we will do in this class might be a little bit more complicated than that, but that would definitely be an example. Uh, and probably a lot of people engage with technical writing without even knowing that that's what they're doing. Definitely. Um, but always in a way that is geared towards the end user and communicating how they can use a product or complete a process. A good piece of technical writing makes sure that the end user is safe, right. for example, if they were performing a complicated process with a piece of heavy machinery, or just satisfied if they're assembling something right. that they've recently bought. Technical writing then is really about taking care of the end user's needs. And to use the colloquial meaning of the word technical, it's probably things that are more technical in nature that need explaining, right? Yes, but you can also have a technical description of a spatula, for example. So it isn't always an incredibly complicated piece of technology. That being said, technical writing does usually involve some form of technology or some process involving technology, but it can be a very simple technology. Right. So it can span a wide variety, from something simple like a spatula to something as complicated as detailing how to repair a large piece of machinery in a factory. So it's a pretty broad genre. Yeah, it, it's a broad genre, but to me it still feels like a specific type of communication, especially right. when it comes to the audience to which you're writing and, and how you appeal to that audience. Yes, absolutely. In technical writing, you really focus on conveying information to someone and allowing an end user to complete a task while using the most effective and efficient language possible. Yeah, and presumably you write with them in mind in order to keep them from becoming frustrated with not understanding what it is you're trying to tell them. Uh, you want to communicate it quickly and clearly, but in a way that is clear for all audiences while also keeping them safe. Uh, so you often need to break things down to their smallest right. uh, format to make it easily understood. Yes, and another thing that's important to note about technical writing is that the end user is coming to you for right. information. Um, not a lot of people read instruction manuals for fun. No. They read them because they have a task in mind and they want to complete that task. So you don't have to worry about providing a lot of extra material because you can really hone in on what they need to know to complete the job. Right. And that happens in a variety of ways. You can have a technical description that breaks down an object and details it to the user, a technical manual that explains how to complete a process or interact with a piece of technology, or a simple process detailed in a short format. And there are plenty of examples out there where this is done poorly. Uh, we've all had Definitely. that experience of going to the instruction manual and not finding the information we need, or struggling as we try to build a piece of furniture using some arcane directions that mystify the process uh, even further. Uh, just the other day, I was looking at a knitting pattern and I could not for the life of me understand what it was telling me to do. Exactly. Understanding the perspective of your end user is really important in technical writing. And technical writers often play a bigger role in the success of a product than we know. Right. Think of your favorite software program or electronic hardware or experience with a company. Chances are that there was a technical writer involved somewhere in the process of making that experience enjoyable. Good products or good experiences don't just succeed because they work, they also succeed because they help end users do something easily. Right. We call this user-centered writing, writing that focuses on the needs and wants of the users. Right, uh, though I can't say that I've ever really noticed technical writing all that much, right. unless it's gone wrong and I can't do something. Definitely. That's one of the ways that technical writing can be so useful and powerful. When it goes right and the end users are successful, safe, and happy, we almost don't even notice the clear, concise, and accurate technical writing that supports a process or technology. Right. So that knitting pattern was an example of some pretty unsuccessful technical writing. Exactly. So anytime you have that kind of breakdown in the process where there is some sort of confusion on your end as the user trying to complete a task, that is an example of technical communication breaking down. What we're trying to do in this course is to develop skills to prevent that reaction from the end user. Ideal technical communication appears seamless. 
One of the ways we will look at this early on is through a memo detailing a process in a simple and small form that will hopefully provide a good introduction to technical writing that will build a foundation for some of the longer projects that will follow in the course. So maybe something like that list above the copier about the toner cartridge that we were talking about earlier. Yes, exactly. So technical writing can span across a variety of genres and topics, but the most important aspects to keep in mind are clarity and precision while keeping the audience or end user in mind. This course, in this course, we will discuss all of these elements at length as we try to make sure that we're always understood.